is Leah back with a vlog update on Castellan and his first competition he did at St. Augustine Horse Trials back in late April. Cooper was entered in the two foot three division, which is a step under beginner novice. The goal for this show was to introduce Cooper to the flow of a full event and gauge where he was at in his training and confidence at the level. You can see here in his warm up that Cooper was a little distracted, but overall he was listening for his cues and pretty easy to bring back into focus. I was pretty pleased with the effort he put into this test. Unlike his first few dressage tests, he was not spooked by the arena changer decorations. Overall, he held his focus and had some really nice trot efforts. Cooper was relatively rhythmic and accurate with his shapes. One of the biggest flaws in our test started in his warm up where I quickly noticed he was getting stuck on his canter leads. For instance, if we had started on the left lead and I changed directions, he would once again pick up the left lead instead of the right. Once this started in warm up, I knew it was not something we would be fixing on that day. Um, so while we unfortunately ended up with a wrong lead in our test, we got a clear message of where we needed some work. And he really brought it together for the end of the test where I believe we scored an eight here on his halt. After dressage came our jumping phases, it was immediately evident in his warm-up that Cooper was excited but very unfocused. To his credit, there were a lot of new noises that I believe were stressing him and causing an overall loss of focus, but once I felt we were as prepared as we could be, we began what became a rocky show jumping round. As you can see, he's just kind of a little standoffish at the start, so I make the decision to take the round as slow as we can. So I bring him back to the trot for his next fence, and once he sees it, I allow him to step up into the fence, where we just ended up having a stutter step. The problem with taking it slow is Cooper would lock onto the fence, get excited, but not slow down on landing. So you'll see here, I just bring him back to the walk after I had some trouble slowing him down, and then allowed him to properly view the fence and move forward. This was working well for us throughout most of the round, but the problem started coming right here towards the end, where he just didn't slow down in time to catch that second fence. And that caused us some problems because he just kind of looks at it, felt like it snuck up on him, and tried to run away from it. So I took a second to calm him down, bring his focus back on me, turn him towards the fence in the opposite direction he tried to leave at, and he was much happier with that second presentation where he just got a second to really look at it and decide that it wasn't as scary as he initially thought. After careful deliberation, we decided to move forward with the cross country phase. I do not regret this choice as it allowed for the schooling moments that I was ultimately aiming for. We took the same approach as show jumping, keeping things slow, allowing Cooper to view the fence at his own pace and then step up to it. This was working really well until we turned for the water. Cooper got to school the water a few weeks prior to the event, but that unfortunately did not come through as we ended up with three refusals at the water. I cannot thank the fence judges at that water or St. Augustine enough as the judges were incredibly nice and I was allowed to finish the course. Once Cooper got through the water, he began to mellow out and become the horse that I remembered in training. The rest of his cross country course was exactly what I wanted and he was able to connect his last few fences for a beautiful finish. This show was a great education for him and I. It did change our competition plans for the next month as we ended up doing another starter at the end of May instead of a qualifier. Despite the elimination, I was beyond proud of Cooper. Our takeaways from this competition allowed us to further our training and clean up the details that weren't as obvious as before. The exposure was great for Cooper and he handled his next show with a lot less jitters. I plan to do a video comparing the two competitions. Stay tuned for that.